It's often stated that the current water crisis is a crisis of water governance. That means that many of the water challenges that we face today cannot be solved by technical means only, but call for new approaches of managing and governing water. It also reflects the fact that many challenges are related to different and often competing interests and needs by different water users and stakeholders. For example, from different sectors or between countries. So how can we best craft solutions and make decisions on water that are not only environmentally sustainable and technically feasible, but also just and fair, meaning that take these different interests and needs into account? And how can we make sure that it's not only the voices of the most powerful actors that are heard, but also those of the more marginalized and poorer ones? These are the questions that we address in the governance and management profile of the master program. We look at them from different perspectives. For example, law, economics, integrated water resources management, or policy analysis and, and strategic planning. When following a governance and management profile, either within one track or across tracks, by choosing certain modules or by focusing on it in your research part, you can focus on specific tools like participatory management, modeling or conflict resolution, or learn about advocacy and organizational change. These provide different but complementary angles to achieve more integrated management and more inclusive governance of water.